My name is Mark Story. I'm the County Engineer and Public Works Director for Whitman County, Washington in Colfax, Washington. Well, Whitman County is unique but not unique. It's a very large county. Uh, we have about 1,900 miles of roads and over 300 bridges and structures that we have to take care of. We have a lot of short spans uh, that are starting to fall apart. We even have some long span bridges that are slowly degrading. Uh, and the challenge is to figure out where to find enough money to keep the system in good enough shape to keep commerce going. So in Washington, uh, especially though, we're always looking at you know, what's the long-term impact of our choices. Steel is a good choice. Concrete's been a good choice for us for years, but there's, there's a bigger carbon footprint with that uh, that's going to probably be more difficult to deal with in the future. Every year, though, we put in our budget to replace two, one to two bridges with our own forces. I think that we can build a bridge for about half of what the contracting uh, community could do, maybe even a little less than that. So the Belmont Bridge is very typical of a Whitman County bridge. It was a, an old 20 foot long wood bridge that was sitting right down in the floodplain. Uh, in the last 25 years it's been underwater twice uh, and then here in the last couple of years the, the wooden pile and some of the wooden stringers were starting to exhibit some rot. The things that we wanted to do was redrive, put in better foundations, raise it up out of the floodplain a little further and make it a better bridge for the, for the floodplain. We actually bid both concrete and steel superstructure for this, and the steel superstructure came out uh, over $30,000 less for the superstructure of a bridge. So that's a huge difference in cost, and that's just $30,000 or $35,000 I get to spend on the next bridge. The Belmont Bridge with Whitman County is a 28-foot is a, is a wide bridge structure, 32 feet long, um, HL93 loading. It's shipped all on one truck based on the configuration of, of modules. The 12-foot module was, was on the bottom with the two 8-footers on top. Uh, sole plate assemblies and uh, steel back wall were also shipped on one truck. Weathering steel was utilized uh, for the construction uh, and fabrication of the beams and diaphragms, uh, guardrail struts and posts. Somewhat of a standard galvanized corrugated deck, 12 by 4 and a quarter inch galvanized corrugated deck. Lifting eyes are, are, are installed in the bridge structure for simple handling. So the substructure for this project, which is similar to many of the bridges in Whitman County, is driven pile. So we drive pile to refusal. In our area we're typically underlain by basalt uh, and then it's some kind of alluvium or colluvium above the basalt. In this case, the basalt uh, layers were first encountered about 16, 16 and a half feet below the thaw wag, and so that's where our bearing level was for the H piles. So we drove the H piles. Uh, there's five H piles per side uh, to support the bridge, and then we're using steel back wall and steel uh, front plates uh, prefabricated from True North to make that work. Start to finish, it's about a four week process for us, and that's a very comfortable time frame to allow us to put in the bridge. And then that also allows us to build any road up to the bridge and take out the